Patrick Flinders had looked forward to a great adventure, a trip 700 miles inside the Arctic Circle. But as he and the other 12 members of his party slept in their tents, a polar bear entered the campsite. Minutes later, he was fighting to save his life and those of his companions. I remember just the bear dripping through the tent, everyone screaming, um, looking at my sleeping bag, just seeing people really scared, seeing the polar bear, then um, grabbing my arm, um, biting it, grabbing my head, just biting it. 17-year-old Horatio Chapel, who'd been sleeping next to Patrick, was killed in the attack. I know it seems a bit harsh, but I'm just glad that weren't me uh, sleeping there. Every couple of nights we like swapped around where we were sleeping. And I was thinking like, if I was sleeping there that night, that could have been me. Another student and two of the expedition leaders were seriously injured. One of them, Spike Reed, managed to shoot the bear. All the survivors have undergone hospital treatment. Patrick was left with fragments of the bear's teeth in his skull, but his thoughts are with the friend he lost. I'm disappointed, really, because he was a really nice fellow. He was a really nice guy to be with. Um, he, he just reminded me, reminded me of some of my friends. Back in Jersey, Patrick's injuries are healing, but he and his family know the memories of that night will take far longer to fade. Robert Hall, BBC News.